Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. You're going to find many clips that have been brought in by my viewers who have had questions. If their questions about their spirituality helps many, they're most likely going to be posted. If there's something that you see that you don't like, don't worry about it. Just discard it and move on to the next. The purpose of these clips are to educate and enlighten, and they are a labor of love. So I hope you'll sit back, relax, and enjoy. Thanks for watching. Does mediumship run in families? In uh, my instance, yes, it does. I have had um, generations back to my grandparents that I know of, both sides, my mom and my dad's side, that were interested in this work. Um, and I think that's why I chose my family, that it was a normal, natural experience in my childhood. Both parents were very respectful of um, my gifts and would actually ask me about certain things just to get my take on it. I remember my mom asking me questions and I'd give her an answer and she was like, oh, Carolyn, that's crazy. No. And I'd say, mom, and I'm five years old at the time. Mom, if you don't want to know, don't ask. <laughs> I was so sure of myself. I had no idea where it was coming from. And at age eight, I had my first experience that I can recall. I was visited by, um, I believe, my spirit guides. And uh, they helped me to get better because I was sick with a cold. You'll read more of that in my newest book, What Your Medium. Um, but uh, my dad used to uh, see a psychic medium who turned out to be my mentor who trained me for 20 years. My mother's parents used to go to Lilydale in um, New York uh, State, and uh, they would go and experience all that Lilydale has to offer. They used to have seances in their dining room um, every so often. Uh, my grandmother, being a hairdresser, had uh, Jenny Wilder, who was her client and also the medium for Prime Minister Mackenzie King. So there are experiences in our family that um, just seem so normal to me. And again, that's why I think I chose it. Why is it running in families? I'm not quite sure. Um, if, if I think about um, my experience, I would have gravitated towards choosing a family prior to getting here who would be uh, open and available and accepting of what I am. So that perhaps is something. I don't know whether there's a genetic predisposition to it. That's just beyond my understanding. But uh, yeah, it does run in the family and it is running in my family. And I would hope that it keeps running all the way into different generations again and again, because I think it's helpful work for so many, uh, providing hope and where there's despair. And um, that's why I do it. Mm -hmm.